And welcome back. Breaking. It's happening. Republicans will go nuclear. According to reports, the GOP will go nuclear in order to confirm Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court of the United States. It is funny how a lot of leftists <coughs> actually praised, praised Gorsuch a decade ago and now hate him. Big surprise. The Political Insider reported two top-level congr congressional Republicans have revealed their plans to invoke the nuclear option to counter Democrats who have vowed to filibuster Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer announced his plan to lead an effort to force the 60-vote requirement on Twitter. Judge Gorsuch's nomination will face a cloture vote as I've said, we will have to earn 60 votes for confirmation. Vi my vote will be no. The threat of a filibuster has led to gamblings that the Republicans might invoke the nuclear option, a move that would abolish the 60 vote requirements for Supreme Court nominees, something the Democrats themselves instituted for other judicial nominees under the leadership of Harry Reid in 2013. Senators Lindsey Graham and John McCain have revealed they will do exactly that. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Breaking. Look who just agreed to testify about Russia. Roger Stone. From what I understand, there's been two attempts at this man's life. One was they poisoned him with palladium during the election. And he was like deathly ill while he was writing his book. The Making of a President, I think it's called. And then last week, he got hit on the driver's side in a hit and run accident. They haven't succeeded either time because they're worried about him talking. My lawyers have informed Chairman Devin Nunes that I will testify voluntarily and want public session. Roger Stone. He's been in many presidential campaigns. Florida woman asked to remove Blue Lives Matter flag. Look at the shocking reason why. A woman in Florida was asked to remove her Blue Lives Matter flag because a neighbor complained it was racist and offensive. A woman in Florida has been told to take down her Blue Lives Matter flag because a neighbor found it to be racist and offensive. It just never ends with these idiots. I really am concerned for the future, because I'm pretty sure you can't really deal with someone mentally ill on logical terms, because they don't understand logic. They only see one direction. Jeff Gaddy, a police officer, told that her daughter was flown the flag outside her house in St. John's County for years in his honor. But Gaddy's daughter recently received a letter from her homeowners association saying the flag does not comply with association rules. When Gowdy's daughter asked the Homeowners Association why her flag needed to come down, she was told the organization received a complaint that the flag was racist, offensive, and anti-Black Lives Matter. See what they do? You can't actually win with these people. They only understand one thing, and even then they don't get it. But it's fine, for the Trumpian army will continue to grow.